But this is actually the thing that I thought was the most fascinating and the thing that is pretty groundbreaking and new. And this is on Science Tech Daily. What happens when semiconductors become superconductors? And it looks like a picture right there. There is a rendition quantum devices made of two superconductors and thin non-superconductor barrier using different forms of germanium in super germanium and gold semiconductor germanium and super germanium on a wafer level scale this is an interesting rendition of their experiment. Apparently, they were able to turn germanium into a superconductor, which is already a semiconductor. And finding something like that that can actually be used, that's easy to get, and is something like silicone that we already use, is a massive step in the right direction for finding a decent superconductor for us to use. I'm just going to read a little bit from this. Researchers have turned germanium, a common semiconductor, into a superconductor. Through precise atomic engineering, the advance could revolutionize future electronics and quantum circuits by eliminating energy loss.